Good morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's still very early and we want to go for a hike and Jörg said he would prepare our backpacks and I'm yeah. making breakfast. Yes. And I thought I'd make something similar to French toast because we will be on the road, I don't know, for, for quite a while so we can indulge a little bit. Yeah. How did you sleep? Very good. You know what? It was quiet. It was. And you know what? At first I thought I wouldn't be able to sleep. I don't know why. But then I slept so well. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> and I just spotted a Mrs. Petmore ball. And you know what? Yuck and I really need to get one that size. We only have a very big one. But need one like that. Now I just take two eggs. Add a bit of vanilla bean extract, just a little bit. Then a a little bit of cinnamon and then milk. Sadly I couldn't find a whisk so I'm just taking a fork. We got some regular bread for Yerk, some gluten-free buns for me and I just dip those Fry them in a pan. didn't show you this, there's a little boot room before you enter the kitchen with a sink let's head out Hang on. It's pretty windy today. It was yesterday as well, so we take the drone with us and then we have to wait and see. But the sun, you guys, feels amazing. It's beautiful. It's chilly, but beautiful. So what's the plan, Jörg? So the plan is we will walk to the Kent Mare Reservoir. Yeah. Uh, which is, I don't know how far it is, but it's probably six to seven miles. We totally changed plans. We bought two books but yeah. we said why not stay here and 
just not drive anywhere yeah. because the area is so stunning. We don't need to go anywhere today. Yeah. And yeah. because we don't have a map, I'll choose a safe road. Yeah. So I took an easy to find road route yeah. and memorized it. Yes. And let's you, see. You if just it works. you took uh, some screenshots uh, yeah. with a mobile phone, so it should be it should be we fine. We won't get lost. No. But yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go. go. But first, we want to go up a little to get a nice view. And up she goes. Windy, just a tad. <laughs> a little bit windy. We are almost. Oh, you know what? You said this is Lake Windermere. Oh my, my God! <laughs> you have to be so careful going down. What did you say? <laughs> what? Really? Yes. See, so oh, there's a couple snogging somewhere, right? You caught them in the act. Yes, I did. We have to make a confession. Uh -huh. Yeah. What did you do, my love? You chocolate. Yes. We didn't go to the reservoir. No. Not because we were lazy, not at all. I had to reshoot the drone footage. Yes. Because there was something wrong with the cart. Yeah. So I climbed, I walked up the, the, the hill again. Yeah. And reshoot. I I stayed here. I took a shower in between. Yeah. And yeah, it was just so annoying because we checked. Which was good, on the other hand, that we checked on the laptop and saw that it didn't work. No, but so, it's fine. Yeah, you definitely got a lot of exercise today. Yeah. But I'm now I think... I'm amazed how fit I am. You are. You are really fit. And you know, the footage looks really nice. We'll see. You deserve... You know what's really annoying now? You don't have a beer or anything. No. Because you actually deserve it. <laughs> the rocking chair. This is definitely not a stylish day. So sorry about that. But uh, we just we're just preparing dinner and yeah, Jörg Jörg will explain what he does. <laughs> So what we planned for, for dinner was German goulash. Yeah, goulash yeah. in German. But I forgot some ingredients, so probably it's going to be more uh, kind of stew. Yeah, yeah. yeah? But it, with uh, turkey, I put in carrots, I will put in some paprika and uh, thyme. Uh, shallot? Shallots, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's just cooked. Yeah. And 
in water and usually you make a sauce. Yeah. But I don't have the ingredients for the sauce, so so it's more gonna be like a stew. <laughs> you know what? Oh, soup, like know. yesterday we forgot we when we went to the shop, so we forgot spinach, we forgot flour, but today we just didn't want to drive and yeah. yeah. This is, I don't know, I hope it's okay to just show real or share real life. It will be a really special dinner. Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of tasty. It will be good. I think it's good to show that you can work with um, what you've got. Yeah. And it's good not to drive. It smells lovely, Yuk. Yeah. It smells nice. Well, one thing is really nice when it comes to the Arga because you don't have to turn on anything and it's just warm and cozy but it would be it would be too hot in our kitchen because we have this um, extension with lots of windows and it would be it it would be too hot I think it's really good in a nice cottage that is colder it's perfect here. Okay. It's very clear. But it has fresh veg, so it's nice. Don't but worry about it. Yeah. We are getting cozy now. We need the fire, it's really cold tonight. And this place, this room, doesn't have heating or anything, so it will be great with the fire on. We should have bought a game, I think. Totally forgot. This one is just um, broken or something, I don't know. Probably the bulb is broken. Yeah. 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 Speak English. The bulb can't be broken because there's no bulb in the lamp. <laughs> there isn't? No. Okay. Then I'm, oh, then I'm drunk. Sorry, because I I thought I saw one. No. Let's see. What's this picture? The happy dispatch of the Duke of Clarence. It's slowly getting warm in here, and feels nice. And you want to relax now? Yes, I will just chill. Yeah, that sounds. Warm. Yeah, yeah, that sounds perfect. And I think I, I will start editing the next video and um, check the little films we made. So, so luckily, I just checked our private email because we we had something very special planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. And the lady just got back to us and said she can offer the same for us on Monday. And we'll be staying here until Monday. And um, I just wrote back to her because we don't have a phone signal up here. And I hope, fingers crossed, that we can make that happen on Monday. And yeah, we just had to change plans. And tomorrow we will probably go on another hike. Fingers crossed, and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's the most glorious day and yeah. we are on a hike this morning. Yeah, we've decided to do a walk to Kekma Reservoir. 
yeah, we're doing it today. And last night, Jörg, Jörg didn't even notice we had such a storm and I was really worried about today. But now it's, it's calm and pure bliss. Yeah. yeah. And we thought we would do the hike this morning and hopefully later on we go to um, Grasmere and Ambleside near Coniston if we've got enough time left. Yeah, we'll just see. It yeah. just always blows my mind how beautiful this is. We made it to the reservoir and so far we just met one runner. We definitely call this the perfect start to a day and we will go back in about half an hour. Also, last night the lady got back to us so we got a confirmation that everything will happen tomorrow, which is lovely. I think this is going to be a very nice experience, hopefully. And yeah, we want to share this with you. Hopefully you will love this. And I'm not going to say what it is now, just stay tuned for the next video. We made it to Grasmere. Yeah, Grasmere, which is famous for William Wordsworth. Yes, the famous lake poet, and his grave is just behind us. Yeah. And I think uh, last time we came here, it's three years ago. Yes, yes, three years. And I don't even remember if we visited his grave because I think I'm we did. I'm not sure because it was a rainy day when we were here. Yeah, it was. And also Krasme is very popular for its gingerbread. Yeah. There is a, a shop and everybody, I remember last time we came here, yeah. people said, go to the gingerbread shop. But it's and always crowded. Yeah, very busy. So we should have a look if we can go there and maybe you can get something for you. I don't know. We'll have a look. But it's lovely. Yeah, it's in a, in, I think it's the old school. The, where they sell the, the gingerbread. Yes, it's, oh. it's the old school. Yeah. Uh, and William Wordsworth taught there in the 19th century. And he also lived here with his sister Dorothy in a dove cottage. Yeah. Uh, we visited Rydal Mount three years ago, which is just the next village, Rydal, which is lovely as well. Yeah. Yeah, we can really recommend it. Now the gingerbread shop itself was too busy, so they have gingerbread ice cream as well at the back of the shop. Is it good? It really tastes like gingerbread. So very Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Very good.
the daffodil garden is very nice when the daffodils are in season of course but um, we just saw that you can give donations that's what we think and then you you get a nameplate look yeah guess what we lived in Haswell. Yeah. Far away. Oh, yeah. And now we just made a quick stop at Ambleside to show you a tiny house which is very picturesque. And before we leave Grasmere we thought we would show you Dove Cottage where William Wordsworth lived before, I, I'm not sure if that's the cottage he had before he went to Bridal Man. No, no, he had something. Another one as well? Yeah, I think it was the old rectory where he... And then he <laughs> moved to Bridal Man? Yes, yes. We have to make a confession. We haven't seen that last time. No. You can you can book tickets for, for this house. Yeah, it's um, a museum. Yeah. But we went to Bridal Mount, which was really really nice yeah we actually had tickets for Rydal Mound for tomorrow morning no, but we had to change our plans <laughs> yes we had to change or we had to cancel the tickets um, but you will find out why yeah because yeah there was just um, a change in in the date and this is the house it's called bridge house and it's from the 17th century yeah. owned by the National Trust yeah. and at one time it was a home to a family of eight people this is unbelievable yes, how would you says. how would you fit eight people in there how don't know To finish this day off, we thought, why not have some fish and chips? Unfortunately, they didn't have a gluten-free option, but I thought I just remove the batter from the fish and then it's fine. Smells delicious. Yeah. <laughs> mm. How is it? Good. Yeah. Very good. I'm full. Me Can too. you tell? But the fish and chips were really nice. Yeah. And we're heading back to the cottage now. And get some stuff done like packing because I think we have to leave by 10 tomorrow yes but we have to leave earlier anyway yeah because we've got an appointment we've got an appointment yeah. yes <laughs> stay tuned for the next video and thanks so much for watching and take care guys yeah, take care bye yeah, bye